Said we used to sell weed. Now it's legal, so we travel around the world selling dreams to the people. Tell them, hey, you can have what you want to. Have some fun too. Shake your ass if you want to. Live and direct from LA to the O where they carry a four or five in a tech. You know what time it is. Live on my home away from home, the Dirt Bag Dan Show. It's ooh to the N O. Hustle every night and day. Boy, I got my mind on K. Holy shit. Dirtbag Dan Show. Yeah. Uh, we're calling this. 34 and a half. Shut the fuck up, Siri. I'm trying to do a show. Uh, 34 and a half. I don't want. I don't. I don't need to know where a pizza place is. We're talking about total slaughter. Uh, hi. 34 hey and a half. Skyler G. Caustic I'm here. Technical. Uh, stop my time. Right off the bat. Stop my time. Stop my time. <laughs> stop my time. Uh, stop, stop my time. time. Stop my time. Stop my time. What is he? Fuck, he sounds like Sammy Davis Jr. on that last one. What the <laughs> fuck is it? Stop my time. Uh, what are you going to fucking start singing? You know, that sounds a lot better in the booth, Joe. Total slaughter. What a horrible voice. Um, <laughs> we're, we'll get there. Stop my time. We're going to break Stop this whole thing time. down. Stop my time. I'm going to take all the time I need to break mm. this whole fucking thing down. Uh, basically, we didn't want to be too late on the ball with this one, so we're fucking back at you in a week with a new episode. Uh, but we're just focusing totally on the Total Slaughter thing. We're going to break this thing down piece by piece, talk about the things that we really like to see uh, and the things that we were really just like ultimately super upset by. And Caustic was way more upset by things than, uh, <laughs> than I think the average uh, battler or battle fan. So it's great that we have that perspective nailed on the Dirtbag Dan show. Yeah. Worst event of all time. No holds barred. <laughs> no holds barred tonight. The worst. We don't care. That's ever happened. I figure, like, if Hollow's going to go on stage and be like, fuck Rosenberg, he shot my dick, then we could do a Stop show. Stop my time. Stop my yeah, time. Yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. We're all right. I, think, I don't think anybody's going to give a shit if we talk about how fucking shitty this event was. Uh, yeah, it was... Um, I mean, the, it, there was definitely some strange elements to it. Like I said, we'll break it down. Uh, but I, I'd like there to say, some cool right parts. off the top, there were some fucking really cool parts. There were some really cool parts that uh, were supposed to be cool and were, and were, and there were some really cool parts that were fucking uh, just cool because they, it was like so such proof that like you can't take this wild internet thing and try and sell it on that like mass scale to people and think that you're going to be able to control it or control the crazy fucking people that are involved in it. You know what I mean? Because all of them, all of them, every single one of them is crazy. Straight the <laughs> fuck up. People who battle rap are a little crazy. You have to be. You have, you to. have to be to some extent. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, narcissistic at least, you know. A little, you, want, you want attention for whatever strange Narciss reason. Narcissism, masochism, uh, yeah. fucking... You're a sad faggotism. Whatever fucking <laughs> disease you suffer from, we're all in this shit together. Well, yeah, you so. know what I mean? So, But it's not controllable. It's not something that you could be just like, oh, I got a lot of money, so... Stop my time. Stop my time. Stop my time. Stop my so you could time. just be like, you know, I'm just going to buy it. You know what I mean? This is what happens when you buy it. Total slaughter. Uh, let's start with the stage setup and how just in general... The Hammerstein Ballroom looked that night. Yeah. I mean, uh, just a beautiful Hammerstein fucking looked great. crazy it's venue. It's a great venue. It, it looks like a Coliseum fucking mystical place. Like an opera house and shit. Yeah. And then they have like kind Round of the UFC seating. floor, but no cage. And I'm and I'm 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 into it. I'm like into it uh from the start. Like I'm the they're selling me just on the flash. Like, oh shit, look at all the fucking Green lights yeah. and then the yellow lights. lights. I'm yeah. like, There's fucking lights beams coming out of the floor. Shit is tight. Sway comes out. He's like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, but before I, I before we get on to Sway's hosting, which is let's, whole, uh, let's not get there yet. That's the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. But uh, just the when the battle started, um, it felt right away like I was like, oh, we're just gonna fucking. It's kind of like they were cutting for no reason. You know what I mean? Like. It wasn't like, and 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 we were so far away from the fucking battlers. You know what I mean? I'm used to fucking DSLR, fucking yeah. up close. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, camera shoved in our face and shit or whatever. And and I 
you know, even on the show, that's how they fucking did it. So you kind of expected that there was going to be, you know, some kind of more of a close angle. And they, and they would go to kind yeah, of yeah. like the, you know, you never get to see like the reactions on the other dude's face. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess all that comes in hindsight, like when Avocado's editing and he could see, you know, his separate angle where he's got thesaurus making an ugly, yeah. stupid face, and yeah. then he cuts to that shit, and then he cuts back to fucking me just looking handsome as a fucking, just a, a lion. On. If Come Avocado on, can make you look Literally. handsome, it is a fucking you know testament of his greatness <laughs> yeah, right. as a fucking Seriously. filmmaker. I just, I'm just fucking around. But if I mean, you've ever looked good on camera, <laughs> you better write fucking Kyle a thank you card. Dear Kyle. Shit. I know you, you won't answer my phone calls, so I, I wrote you this letter. I'm outside your window. <laughs> uh fucking Melissa Etheridge over here. <laughs> so uh I just think that like that it felt like they were just cutting boom 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 like camera two, camera three, camera they four. Like, like there's some guy like just Wayne's world they again. Kinda, they, yeah. <laughs> camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Excellent. Every guy on the staff is is Alex by the way. So Alex yes. is down there. Alex is down there. Camera one. Camera two, camera three, Alex, camera four. And Alex, sometimes they'd be cut mic. to like, it's just like Big T's shoulder because these motherfuckers are moving around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, They're it's just laid on the cut. It seemed like the round stage would be a cool idea. You know, like the, the way seat, it's set up, it, it like. They it seem so cool. far away from each other. Yeah. And especially on the pay-per-view. Like, I don't know if there's another camera or not, but they really lack like that up close and, and personal feeling that we get that we're so spoiled by in our normal battles where you fucking are right in the middle of shit. You know? Now you're like watching it from a fucking distance. Well, I think the thing is, is it's not like they can't like just fucking zoom in. You know what I mean? But then when you do that, you're you all of a sudden you get Big T's shoulder, and then he's fucking out of frame. Yeah. You and know then, what I and mean? then also like, you get that like from below camera angle from the camera guys that are down below, rather than like the straight on view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I hope that's whatever. how it looks in like the official view. But as far as the stage goes, there's enough there's enough room on the stage for Arsenal to comfortably Do and happily skip around Big D, yeah. <laughs> which is no easy feat. <laughs> like at some point, Arsenal will be pulled into orbit. <laughs> this one was like literally <laughs> just skipping, like just <laughs> just flailing wrist skipping. Clearly flaunting the physical advantage. I feel like you could almost like overdub that with some Shakespeare for all his hand movements and everything, uh, like all the different. Yeah, Arsenal, uh, I think um, at times uh, T-Rex, uh, there were a couple people that used the stage really well. You know what I mean? Like to Arsenal dominated that scenario. Yeah, Arsenal, I think more than anybody was just fucking... I think the stage exhausted Big T to some extent. <laughs> he was like, yeah, he's like, he was oh, like, stop, running oh, stop running away. Stop running away. Mr. Chilaka, <laughs> boop, but he boop, 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 block his shit. He's like, I need a fucking <laughs> ch- inhaler. <laughs> Before we get into that shit, uh, the battles, because I got, I, I, I think there's enough to say about each one of those bitches. What about fucking Sway out there, just trying to make the most of it? Do you just, know what I mean? Like, sh- just, fucking, he would come out on stage. Talking at the worst times. He'd come out and he'd be like, "That was a battle." You yeah, know, like, actually, like yes. the worst Lux verse in history. He's like, <laughs> "We got a battle now." <laughs> it's like, Oh shit! But he's just saying like like obvious things. He's not telling any lies out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, Dude, yeah. we are human beings breathing oxygen. Both of these men have come here wearing clothes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Two people on stage facing off. We got a battle. Cameras on. <laughs> Lust this is, this on is you. definitely not a game of bingo. A shout, out, a shout out to to Sway, fucking asking people who they thought were winning after every fucking round. <laughs> He's like, dude, we don't do that in battles. You don't do that. It's <laughs> annoying like, and it's fucking. It shows like. Pointless. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen like Lush or Smack or Organic be like? I don't be like, know. hey, put your hands up if you think this dude's winning. I don't know. Now put your hands up if you think this <laughs> dude's <laughs> winning. And it's the way he says it. It's not even like, make some noise for Loaded Lux. Make some noise for uh, fucking uh, Just the Klepto. Uh, <laughs> but he's just like, he's like, how y'all feel about Hall of the Don? All right. How y'all feel about Joe oh, Buddy, buddy though? Dude. <laughs> I cut off all my dreadlocks and nobody recognizes me anymore. <laughs> Yo, there's newspapers in this thing. Yo. Okay, so... Um, Remember when MTV gave a shit about you? <laughs> Remember when people gave a shit about MTV? That's like the real thing. Uh, and then there was Ebro and fucking Royce. Uh, oh. so, so we have judges. We have credible judges. 
uh, in in Poison Pen and Direct. And then uh, uh, Kid Capri, who I think is a credible judge as well because of his uh, Lion's Den affiliation. Yeah, uh, he, he was around in those times, yeah. and he's around now. So I think he's as credible as a judge as anybody on that panel. Um, and uh, r- right off the bat, the stop day of time. the event. Stop my time. Yep, yep. <laughs> Joe Budden said, stop my time on this judges. And Alex. He said, he said, I don't want Alex. poison. Alex. 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 I don't want, look. I don't want poison pen or direct judging me. Stop their judgment. <laughs> Stop my time. Stop, Stop their my judgment. Time. So, uh, so then you know he doesn't. They don't end up judging that battle, but they have judges, right? Yeah. And they shine the light on them occasionally in the marquee that they're in or whatever. But we don't ever like go to those judges to hear anything about yeah, their judgment no de- or whatever. Deliberation, anything. Which like you that. know Any- I'm fine with. We don't do that shit at, at when we do our battles because it's a fucking waste of time to hear guys go, yo, I thought this dude was sick. But, but dude the, definitely did his thing, though. In the yeah, third yeah. round. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that shit. <laughs> but uh, They pick good judges, though. It's not, you know, direct and... Uh, they totally have good judges. Direct, would, direct is actually a poor judgment of anything. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> he's a young Gaddis manager. Because <laughs> he <laughs> let... You, ma- like, he's like, here, Matt Ills, you think take half of my growing let, company... Yeah. <laughs> You could just have it, actually. You could just, you could just have, have it. I'm, you know what? You could just have it. <laughs> Let's make you a judge of other people. Uh, and let their, oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. Ouch. But, um, oh, fuck uh, you, D-Rex. <laughs> um, uh, uh, what have you done for me? Cossacks off the rails, bro. Uh, <laughs> so, check. Look. He's given, uh, he's given up on battle. I would battle. much rather hear. <laughs> You're all fucked to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're all just a giant pile of shit, and you can all thank Eminem for it. I hey. would much well, rather hear from world. Ebro. Or, I mean, I'd much rather hear from them right, than I'm Ebro Skyler. and Royce. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. understand? They're the like, most, the most yeah. not have nothing to do with what nobody people on earth. Like, every, after every battle, if we're, you have bro in your hear, name, shut up. We got to hear from Ebro yeah, and right. Royce. Ebro. This is a guy, e, what does Ebro do? This is a guy who said. And Ebro is, is, a, is a guy who talks about battling on Facebook every day of his life. That's no, Ebro. He's a, uh, uh, Ebro in real life is a, <laughs> he's a Hot 97 DJ uh, in New York. Okay. So, uh, oh, he has a job? Yeah, dude. He's I, like, he's like, he's like their <laughs> fucking. I had no idea who this dude was. He's like their fucking Chewy Gomez, right? You know okay, what I'm saying? Sick. Like, uh, he's a big name in, in, in radio in New York. So he's, all I know about him is that judgments. he openly speaks out against battling often. There you go. That's oh. all I know about Ebro. So this is a guy who you decided we're like, okay, let's. Who do we want to have do commentary for our battles? Do we have anyone that fucking hates battle? Yes, rap? there's one guy. Get him. Who openly speaks. Get, does about he look it. like Cap Callis? Never mind. Get him over here. You know what I mean? It's like I don't. I don't Looks get like it. Puerto Rican Callis. And then sure? Royce, who's proved through his fucking. Phenomenal nine nine judgments that uh, oh. on the house that he is totally credible to speak on every single battle as it happens. Thank the I don't Lord. Know. Thank the Lord. I Royce think that the they're nine taking nine. all the steam away from Hollow. Everybody's like got it. a Joe Button bar. Everybody, nothing that Hollow. He's gonna have nothing to say after everything they s- the after everything they said. They shit. brought it back to Joe Button, and it was all about it was just a fucking it's just yeah, a Joe Button me. show, and uh, and Joe Button. Stop my time. Stop my time. <laughs> Stop my time. We'll talk about it later. So, uh, later and older. I'll I just, I didn't that. understand that whole fucking shit. <laughs> One thing that I thought was tight about the Ebro and Royce thing was that somewhere around the Loaded Lux and Mook battle, Chilla Jones had fucking put his fucking sign up. Dude, tight. We got a picture nice. of it. <laughs> we got a picture of it. We got to fucking put that shit up. Uh, Run it. Tight. Check this shit out. Your boy had the illest photo bomb in the history of battle rap. Fucking uh, right under fucking Ebro, it just says Chilla Jones for the rest of the night, and they keep fucking cutting to it. And people, I see people on Twitter like, "Oh shit, Chilla Jones getting his ups." You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was like <laughs> that shit was serious, bro. I was like, "Fuck, man, I wish I, I wish I had fucking snuck a little DVD T-shirt over the rails or some shit." That was I don't even know how he did it, man. Next time I see Chilla Jones, first fucking question I'm asking him like. Stop my time. Stop Hold on. my time. Chilla, stop my time. But I didn't even get it. Like, I didn't get where it was. It looked like it was like he had to do some, like, it was like it hanging. Like he did it from below. Bar. Yeah. Like, he came from, uh, yeah, like, he walked he, up and, like, like got climbed on his boy's went, shoulders. Hey, lift me up real quick. Bam. Yo, I'm going to throw this shit over the rail. They're not even going to know because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> and, and, then, <laughs> and then just all They're night. They're going to free advertise for your boy all night. Chilla Jones. Fucking. 
Good shit, man. That was tight. That was that was ill work. Right. Let me work. Wrong one. Please let me work. That's better. No work there was done at this event. Oh. Was, <laughs> there was no work. So <laughs> let's fucking uh, let's talk about these fucking battles, dude. Uh, Arsenal, <laughs> Arsenal versus Big I'm T. I'm holding my tongue because I was aggressive the first time we did this, and I yeah. got a second chance. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all and right. not Arsenal calling all these battles shitty, um, even though they were. Arsenal versus Big <laughs> T. Uh, I thought Arsenal was fucking killing it, man. Arsenal uh, was using the stage like no other person did the whole night. I'm he literally skipped someone circles. Someone overdubbed some Shakespeare onto Arsenal's rounds because he's like doing every theatrical he performed move. the fuck out of them he performed shits. performed his bars. That fool was like, oh, Hey, oh, and how come oh, Arsenal was oh, using was like, more of these? <laughs> there was more of those coming from Arsenal than Big T that bad. Yeah, man. I don't know what the fuck, man. Big T had no Boo Blocka, Mr. Boo Blocka. You're the shit. type of lad that oh. wakes up in the morning. And You're just fucking pushing buttons, buttons yeah. now. I don't you even see know what, what Total I Slaughter has done to all of us? He, had, he definitely didn't have any I of apologize. those. You're the type of lad. You're the fucking type of lad, of Arsenal. Uh, you're the type of lad to run laps around a giant person. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're the see, type of lad he, to frolic one, about like the happiest that, crypt that, that ever was. In. I think Big T would admit, get rid of it. if he know. was here, I think Big T would admit that that stage wore him down, bro. Like he had to. He was chasing <laughs> Arsenal. I Arsenal think, was skipping around the stage. Arsenal he was chasing was him around. Purposely moving away from him so the big team like, oh, had to like move more. Yeah, now. What's wrong with that? Calisthenics is a is a. <laughs> it's part of the game. Don't be mad at the That's game, a battle. bro. It's a battle. Why don't you fucking do some jumping? It's jacks? a battle. Uh, Big T, who who has said on the show, he was like the only two times I ever choke. He's like the only time I ever choke in my life. He's on the show, and then he's like. The second time I ever choke in my life is <laughs> on this show. And then he's like, okay, I, I think I got a problem with choking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he his last three battles. Wasn't it on, like, really short notice, though? Like, no, hell no. This Arsenal thing wasn't on short notice? Oh, it was, huh? Yeah. The Arsenal one was. They picked that one last yeah. minute. So I understand. And it, his choke wasn't that bad, honestly. Yeah, uh, it was, like, a, more of, like, a, a mild, like, Choke slip, but up. and he, then he just lost the audience bad. Basically, yeah, yeah. Arsenal was just like, which is, which is as, oh, has which, about as oh, difficult oh. as jangling keys in front of them. Yeah, They're can we talk about that right now for a second? Like, clearly, fucked. the audience was very easily swayed one way or another, yeah. and not to say that like they weren't right. Not to say the that they weren't planted in front of the camera with total slaughter shirts or anything like that. And not to say that didn't clearly happen a couple times, but. but um, uh, yeah, Just you can tell. General, that, yeah, they were. They were. There's a lot of booing, and uh, you know, out of all the things Sway said, he never like s- tried to stop the booing. Like I would think, like if he's gonna be like, how many of you people like Howl the Don? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like why isn't he gonna be like, hey, shut the fuck up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't. Hey, boo. let me watch this fucking battle without your fucking bullshit influence. Yeah, no booing. Like I thought that was one of the rules. No booing, no fucking head wraps, Sway. You don't even have hair anymore. Take it off. <laughs> what? What? How Take many of you off. people like to keep your lunch inside of your hat like me? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That was a, that was absurd. <laughs> the best is Skyler in ten seconds. Okay. <laughs> right there. Uh, okay. <laughs> um. Arsenal called out Cassidy. He totally has a fucking sack lunch under his hat. <laughs> <laughs> he has like an apple, like a lunchable. <laughs> <laughs> See that lighter. He's got a Capri Sun. What? Right over. Uh, Arsenal called out Cassidy in that battle uh, in a pretty big way. I'm sure, that's going to happen. Well, fuck. I mean, if they wanted to do a Total Slaughter 2, right, like another big event, like that would kind of be like a natural thing to set up, right? That's assuming like uh, me and Roy were watching this whole thing. We're like, well, it doesn't matter like how bad it like sucks or people fall apart. Yeah, or it's just going to happen again, isn't it? If. There's the numbers support it. If they don't, if the they don't, if like they didn't make money on it, like, but dude, they filled that fucking place. I know that's not like uh, on that scale. That's not like objective enough. Pay for everything that they've done. You know what I mean? Like, but uh, but um, um, the pay per view is what it comes down to. Exactly. If if the the pay per view is really where they get that. Every person that watches battle rap is either. Well, I would say probably one out of every four to five people that watches Battle Rap paid for a pay per view. If you're gonna be more towards, probably one out of seven. Yeah, I think realistic. a lot of people. I think a lot of people were like. I think one out of seven is fair. 
So okay, check it out. So if you try and those are the people that are like together with a bunch of people and they're all like going on it. So how many people watch Battle Rap? Let's say in the United States, what, 250,000? No way. More than that, man. Way more. Okay, so I would a say million plus? Yeah, A million way more. plus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, way more. Yeah, I guess, I mean, because you got to count for repeat views and shit, but you have battles that get views in like the... You know, few million and shit. Okay. You know, like so. The, I mean, what are what are like Arsenal's bigger battles? Like nine million. Yeah, you know like, what I mean? dude, like Arsenal versus Shoddy is at like almost like six million. Man, that's crazy. Like, you know what I mean? And that, I guess you got yeah. a lot of UK fans accounting uh, for that too. But they don't yeah. make up. They make up a small margin compared to. They are fans. They yeah. count. No, yeah, no, totally. But I'm saying just as far as we're talking about the United States, we're talking millions of people yeah. that watch battle rap. <laughs> and so there's they got there's got to be decent. They wouldn't have made the in investment that. if they didn't think that there was some kind of you know yeah. just justifiable percentage of of people in America that are watching this shit that they think okay if uh, you know five percent of the people that watch battle rap buy this shit we're yeah. gonna be successful yeah. you know what I mean like which is you have to be operating on those a numbers positive uh, idea well then plus <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and yeah. then the pay per view stream. If you're trying I to get it that, online, yeah. so like a bunch of people have to get like their money. To, Bro, I was trying to get shit. it online, and I f it was fucking hard to do. And I talked to fucking Rory on the phone, and it was like just like boop boop. If you're on Comcast, so I just fucking drove over to his house and watched it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but oh, you could order it through the TV like that. Yeah, like wow. uh, Comcast. It was hella easy. I tried to do it at my house via AT and T. Nope, not a fucking chance. You know what I mean? Or right. Other, or else I would have fucking uh, done it there, and. uh uh, so I knew I I seen hail of people online just in my feed on Facebook and on Twitter just like what the fuck I can't get the pay per view yeah. I'm missing history right. you know what I mean like just to are, just to throw this in here uh Budden just came out with an interview saying the total slaughter is going to be a major a major event twice a year okay huh. all right there you That's go what total slaughter is supposed to be so. He says he wants JC and Chilla and Pat Stay and all this other shit. So, you know, maybe we're not completely counted out. Well, no, I mean, like... Uh, definitely the vote is against us. I. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you talking about us as individuals or, like... As the members of the Dirtbag Dan oh, Show. Well, oh, well, shit, well, I ain't I battling, so then, you know... Yeah. Well, you've got your know. own battles to fight there. I don't know. I don't have a, uh, another battle booked in the near future, but I don't. Th I definitely don't think. I think there's a lot. You of would do it in a heartbeat. They asked you, you'd be on. And, it. Yeah, I would do it in a heartbeat, 100 percent for sure. And uh, I think any battler would. Honestly. I think I have like a decent. Unless you're enough, Hollow the Dawn and smarter than everyone. I think I have a decent enough fan base to support even the suggestion. But I think there's, if we're talking about like kids who are built for it, like when you watch the show, you've seen people like Big T and a verb and math hoffa uh who are great you know what i mean if they have the time to prepare and they're you know ready yeah. to go they're sometimes great yeah but in the uh position that they were in in the show they just didn't do it and then you had the dudes like uh t-rex and disaster and daylight who can really perform under that kind of pressure right or or under those kind of specifications like you don't know exactly who you're going to battle and all that shit yeah. <clears throat> and i've done that shit before in the tournaments and shit with you and in the grind time yeah. one and in the fucking uh other one at paid, paid dues, dues and shit, shit. but it, and it's it's hard it's fucked up your first battle is always better than your second one yeah. you know what i mean but yeah. i think uh dudes like like sharon like they're gonna pick Pat Stay, but Sharon would be fucking perfect. He might beat everybody in the fucking house because he's the type of kid who will remember his bars. He'll have bars for everybody. He probably has bars for everybody already. He'll be on point. He won't ever fucking slip up. He won't, you know, he won't yeah. ever choke. He'll freestyle rebuttal in every battle he does. You know what I mean? Like, like this kid eats and sleeps and breathes this shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, so why not? So he should be the kid that's in it. Like, if you were, you know. If I was casting it, I wouldn't pick myself, so I don't see them picking me. You know what yeah. I mean? Because there's kids like Sharon, and and I hope that after doing it the first time, they've realized that, like... Some of this shit was really fucked. Well, I mean, they can't... They <laughs> and they could do it much better this time. Well, definitely, but I mean, moreover, on the selection process of, like, who would be in the house and whatnot if they did the show again and all that shit versus just doing events, um, is that... They need, one, a more diversity of characters. You can't have all these fucking cool guy, untouchable gangsters who fucking are, are hella ballin' and fucking dress fly but are sleeping in twin beds and getting paid two Gs to hang out for yeah. a week with each other. Yeah. Like it's fucking boys camp and shit. Yeah. I wouldn't fucking, 
You know what I mean? Like Yeah, like they they need to diversify their selections. And they need to do more they need to do more character development and talk about who these people are totally. and why and where they came totally. from and not just fucking start and you Go guys are fucking into playing battles. chess and talking about nothing. Well, they say they want to do it like the Ultimate Fighter, but that's the the key to the Ultimate Fighter is there's two things that they're missing uh, just drastically. Is is one is they don't do enough of that character development where it's yeah. like when it's the battle between this per- person and this person. By the, yeah, by the time I watch the fight at the end of the <laughs> Ultimate Fighter, I fully feel for both of these dudes yeah, and yeah, their yeah, little yeah, family yeah. situation, whatever's going on, and you kind of like, ah, I hope this guy wins. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. you like you become invested. You beca- and you remember when you watch a certain season of Ultimate Fighter. You remember the. You know what I mean? Like I and think I'm not even a huge MMA fan like Dan is, but I still watch that shit. Totally, because they involving. fucking fight at the end of yeah. the episode. Like what other reality show where do you got these people chill or whatever? They live in the house, boob to boo, and then they fucking fight at the end of the episode. Yeah. And like, and then one of them is like, "Oh, my dream is over because I got punched in the face, and now I'm physically and emotionally hurt, and I'm probably gonna cry." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that happens every episode. Episode. That's tight. And you're not going to get that because it's battle rap and it's not fucking... Uh, we don't cry. Well, it, you know, fuck. Like, maybe, That's gay. Maybe if you get some Carter <laughs> Deems in there, they'll cry and shit about cats and all oh, sorts of shit. That's that would just if make someone hurt his cat, if, someone, if, so, if he saw a video of someone hurting cats well, on stage, he would definitely... And Carter Deems would, would like cry mid-battle. He would burst into tears right there. And say, is this gangster? Is, I'm letting my thug doves go. <laughs> Uh, but I think stop, uh, my time. Stop, stop my time. Stop my time. <laughs> stop my time. We kind of got way off base there, but it's important. No, nah, I mean we're no, we're not. We're just talking no, about. I mean we're just the about future of this shit. <clears throat> and uh, I think I don't know, man. I think uh, they need to do more inquiry as as to who when they pick these guys that like making sure they're picking the kind of characters that are like more like the T-Rexes of the world. Yeah. That are just so they can Yeah, if they're going to be fucking uh <laughs> boring people that don't have anything to say, at least make them really good at rapping. Like yeah, T-Rex. that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like you can't have half of the battles that happen on your show choke. And it happens on the Ultimate All Fighter sometimes too. All people really want is you need to just get them in the rooms where they talk and then take what they say and edit it to where they're just talking perfect shit to each other in a timeline that's the best entertainment for people because that's yeah. all anybody wants. Yeah, yeah. I mean, true enough. I'm I don't just need saying, to see like, their, their half battles in the kitchen. You know, I want to see them. Trash I actually talk thought that was other. one of the best parts of the show when if they I'm all kind of got like passionate everyone. about it and had like a night. It would be tight if they could do something like that every episode. I think, if anything, they were limited on the episodes that they could do, or else they probably would have done more in the character developed department. But you really didn't get to see how crazy Disaster was. You really didn't get to see how crazy Daylight was. You know what I mean? Like They had good moments, though, where like, they caught like Diz singing and like kind of showcased one of his other talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like And stuff like that I appreciate. But really, like to get the full feel, I think it needs to be an hour. And, uh, you know, because the battles take a while. The battles are a good two-thirds of the show. Then you have yeah. one, there's one commercial break, like in between commercial break when the show's actually on air where they're not doing any of that shit. And you're just kind of getting insight on people. Well, uh, I, I imagine that Arsenal versus Cassidy would be something that they would want to set up for, like, another one of these big events. You know what if I they mean? They got the money, do fucking Meek versus Cassidy, man. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I would rather see that. I, I would know. rather see an industry do battle an industry do because the bar is mucking much lower and they're not going to sound so out of place yeah, next man. to each other. Yeah. And, I, and, and, I, and we said it over and fucking over again. Uh, but before we get there, let's talk about uh, the elephant in the room uh, in a giant Big spawn tea. costume. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually really like Big T. I don't know why I'm such an asshole to uh, him. Daylight versus T-Rex. <laughs> Uh, for the Total <laughs> Slaughter Championship, which is absolutely worth nothing. And that was the... <laughs> <laughs> that, fuck. That was the other yeah, thing the total I was going to say. Like, I totally, I totally got, lost track of what I was saying. I was saying that, one, one, they needed to do more character development, but two, they needed to fucking... Uh, have, have something you have won. Actual prize, yeah, like because a put, a, put a record out on Shady. So or the something. Ultimate Fighters like, win a. Nobody fucking, buys it. Nobody buys it. Sorry. Uh, ultimate Fighters win a uh, uh, hundred thousand dollar contract with the UFC. Usually they get like a motorcycle or some shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, they do. You know, 
a, a cash prize for best you know submission and whatever. But they could have done on this if they really wanted to, because I mean seriously, they obviously they spent a lot of money. And according to Arsenal's battle, or I mean Hollow's battle, which we'll talk about later, they only paid the battlers like a couple G's a piece to be on the show. Yeah. All, all the money went to everything else, you know what I mean? Besides the battlers who made yeah. all the entertainment. So you know what I mean? Like these guys or didn't get did paid they? shit. Uh, and fucking, they, you know, there's no prize at the end. So what do you expect? How do you expect a crazy performance out of somebody when there's not, like, anything life-changing comes out of it? And I think when and, we talk about daylight... you sleep on a twin bed in a house with fucking a bunch of other battle rappers. When we talk about daylight and T-Rex, fucking Eminem didn't even show up. You know what I mean? Yeah. When we talk about daylight and T-Rex, uh, I think that's why daylight did what he fucking did. I think straight up he was like, there's no way I'm going to win this shit based on just where it's going down and the way I deliver. So, and, and there's nothing to fucking win. I think that... So there's no point in even trying. The, I might as well go out there and make the biggest spectacle of this big-ass spectacle as I possibly can. That's yeah. what I think Daylight was doing. And yeah. for that, I'm, I'm... Fuck, call me stupid. I thought it was fucking amazing. I think that Daylight <laughs> is, has decided that it isn't even about... When, when you're on that big of a scale, because it's not, it's not really about battle rapping for him at that point. It's about making the biggest, you know, exposure. So what is, so what is the point he made? What are, like, oh, he's crazy. Well, better... We're talking about it, aren't we? Well, yeah, we're, it's, it directly involves us. I think the, <laughs> you know I think I mean, the biggest point that he made, uh, or the point that he was trying to make, or, you know, or me trying to, and it's, it's really like when you talk about daylight and, like, the point he's trying to make, it's like looking at a fucking, you know, Picasso painting and being like this is what i think i'm looking at you know what i mean yeah. or, like a, or like a fucking you know some obscure ass like some jackson pollock just fucking drops a paint on a canvas and shit and you're like i see a, a fucking you know what i mean like it's a rabbit riding daylight, a taco me trying to make sense of it all i think daylight is saying that this whole shit is a joke you know what i mean and i'm just gonna do the i'm gonna make it the biggest joke that i've ever fucking done you know what i mean since it's the biggest joke ever i'm going to be the biggest joke ever you know what i mean like yeah, and so at the end of the day they're not talking about the event they're talking about him and no and it doesn't matter since there's nothing to win or nothing to lose at the end of the day if he's the one that they're talking about and you can't even remember a bar that t-rex spit and you remember the spawn costume and then you remember him fucking foot freaking out and tearing it off and crushing fucking the pill pretending bottle he, crushing yeah. the mr hanky pulling poo out of his pants mr hanky and like trying to pretend to eat it and shit like that is just, just fuck, man. I don't, like, maybe I was just already bummed by that point. <laughs> but, because I usually love Daylight's antics, but by the time this happened, I was just like, man, what the fuck? Why I can't wish we just have a good fucking, can we have one good battle before <laughs> a fucking grown man gets naked and eats fake poop off the fucking ground? <laughs> can, we have, can we have a good battle first? Can we, have, like, this is the fucking... Like that was the final plunge it's like, this into is the WWF. Of <laughs> this was the like I don't even I don't even have to rap to be good anymore. I can this just was the fucking Olympics. just throw any that. fucking sense of fucking sense and dignity he I've had out the fucking one window. Bar that third round and he just didn't. fucking go for it, and that's fine. I love what Daylight does, but I didn't love this, and I didn't. I just don't think I. I just fuck, man. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Like it's I, like uh, Anderson Silva. Going? It's like Anderson Silva fucking dancing around against Weidman and shit. You're like, yeah, what the like, fuck what are the you doing? What? Like, was, no, fight! It, don't do it that. really does. We know, feel we like... know you're good. Like, and especially don't... since I thought really, like, if I was judging it, and I'm thinking it's daylight and I mean, it's, it's just uh, like in, direct in, in, in it's Wayne's world where he's like writing on the back of the fucking cards and shit. He's just like. A sphincter says what type of shit to the dude? Yeah, yeah he's to fucking just, Noah's arcade. He's just like he's, just, fuck he's you. like fuck you, fuck Noah's, you arcade. Noah's arcade. <laughs> That's pretty much what's happening. It's crazy. Right but I I thought that uh, uh, he was definitely like <laughs> trolling. You see the pictures of him naked, and it's like naughty by nature taking a picture with like Arsenal, and he's in the back like all, uh, like in his <laughs> underwear and shit. It's yeah. so. Just on the red carpet in his underwear. The best part about it is uh, watching all these uh, these two cool for school cats just flee the stage. K Slay, who, what the fuck has he been yeah, doing why, all night? What was he's he like, on K-Slay? stage for? K Slay, exactly. the silent host. He's okay, like, so oh, I know, man. I don't really like battles that So much, look, I'm not so. mad at K Slay. I mean, and, cool. uh, and I'm sure, you know, like, I, I want to see K Slay make a living too. But I'm sure that K Slay was paid more than any battler. 
and he just stood on stage. He didn't do anything. He just stood on stage. The only thing he did was leave when daylight started to fucking strip naked. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, I was just, I was the whole time I was like, what the fuck is K Slate doing? What is he, did he just agree to just stand here for two and a half hours and not do anything with his hands in his pockets and shit and like just stare at these fools battling? Was he supposed to stop a fight if it happened? Was that what he was, was like on stage? He's like the ref type. I think if people would have started fighting, security. he would have left the stage. I think so too. Yeah. I don't think K Slate would have stuck around if, if a disaster fucking. He'd be like, man, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> These fools are crazy. This fool's naked. I'm this out. This fool's done. Oops, sorry. Um, yo. So, uh, <laughs> T Rex. If then this is another thing why I miss the DSLR and the and and or the reds up really up close and shit is because if you could see in a few angles when uh, the daylight's doing his thing, T Rex is just like, "What the fuck are you doing, man? Like, I, I can't how would you not?" There's giant fake nipples in your face. He's there like, was giant fake you? nipples on that costume. He was like, like, it was like a fuck? bad If you're Batman. T-Rex, that's fucked. Because you're Batman right at nipple three. height. <laughs> yeah, right? You are like nibbling nipple like height. Like that thing was poking you in the face. You know, like the best parts are when like Daylight's rapping and his like little like cape collar like keeps like swatting T-Rex <laughs> on like the hat. <laughs> and T-Rex is trying to like take it seriously. But he's clearly pissed off at his he's friend. He's so mad. He's like, I can't uh, believe you're doing this to me, bro. <laughs> like, I can't fucking believe you're doing this to me. It's like if you guys all agreed to show up, like we agreed to go to the uh, party as like the Ninja Turtles and shit, and then like I showed up as Michelangelo, and you guys were all just like different costumes and shit, and I was like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. We're supposed to be Ninja Turtles, Why am bro. I one Ninja Turtle? You, f- you fucked me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> was like T-Rex was standing there on stage with that look on his face. Yeah. Like, you Great fucking, analogy. like, this was our moment. <laughs> And you fucking screwed me over. You know what I mean? Like he's like the ho- he's like what you're sitting on your friend, uh, sitting on the curb I, on cops and shit. And the cops like, do you have weed in the car? And it's like, yes, it's under my seat. And then the one friend just looks at the other friend like, what you, the fuck, dude? You fucking moron. You know what I mean? It's like that's a, that's the look he was giving daylight the whole time. Like you have, you really fucked my whole life up right now. This is because he knows. I think he knows it doesn't matter how good he is. All anyone's going to talk about is Mr. Hanky in this full you know, stripping Daylight, down. Daylight's openly said, he's like, if I don't feel like I can beat you at the normal game, I'm yeah. going to take it to the next level with you. And I don't think and he erase thought he could your performance from anybody's memory. Well, I don't think even if he did beat him in the normal game at that event, it would have mattered because that's not what that event was going to be about. Everybody, he wanted to be more talked about than the Joe Budden shit. I, wa- I wanted it to be about that. That's I really wanted it to just be like a good battle rap event. That's funny because I didn't really think about that, but that's really just, that's kind of like, that's kind of just like Daylight to be like, I want to be He the did most, it at Hollow the Don versus Lux. I want to be the he most. Was a, he was a fucking Matrix character for like an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. That takes some fucking dedication. He wanted to be the most talked about thing at the event, and he probably achieved that. You know what I mean? I don't know, though. Because Joe Budden and, and we'll definitely Stop get that. Stop my time. Stop my time. Yeah, they, he is a hard act to fucking beat with that shit. As like, a, you'd have to be pretty fucking terrible to be worse than Joe Budden at rap battling. He, uh, uh, pretty fucking bad. I don't know. I think he's right up there with cannabis with that performance, but we'll get there. I think cannabis did better than you. Uh, let's uh, go. Uh. I don't know. Yeah, I would rather hear crash you through the fucking clouds than fucking chlamydia, dickhead. Because uh, you're a fucking dickhead. Um, that was fucking awful. I can't believe anybody lets you go out and do that. Yeah, I mean, that's and, not, and not only that, not only were you the most <laughs> mediocre fucking uh, rap battler of all time, you were a dick about it time. the whole Stop time. My time. The whole time Hollow was rapping, you could not keep your shit together. It all bothered you. Uh, you just looked like an asshole the, yeah. from the jump. Like the second you're able to move in like some kind of negative manner the in fr- regards to what he says, you're on it. And then and then you're just like Dr. Seuss rapping with the f- and you can't. You need eight microphones <laughs> and a fucking bowl of green M and M's and like a fucking beard trimmer from fucking Jesus himself. Should we just talk about that Stop one? My Let's fucking Stop go. My I'm ready to okay. talk about. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get to Mook and, and Lux later. Uh, oh yeah, Stop I fucking time. I thought Stop we time. I thought. Stop my time. Stop my time. I'm not rapping. Stop my time. All right, I'm sorry. Let's do Mook and Lux. <laughs> that was really well timed. Oh, Stop my shit. time. 
Okay. God damn it. Uh, sorry, I thought we did the the other three. No, no, I'm no. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> See, that's, I'm sorry. That's the kind of effect that daylight has on an event, bro. You're like, all I remember was that fool showed up in a spawn costume, freaked out, stripped down to his boxers, and ate his own poo. But he drew that poo. Yeah, he, he drew. Had. So he was. It was a drawn picture of shit. It was Mr. Hanky of Mr. Hanky of Mr. Hanky that uh, he ate. That he like pulled out of his boxers, I think. I mean, he reached into his pants, right? And then he had there was a Mr. Hanky, and he picked up the Mr. Hanky, and he was like, "Ah, man, why, bro?" He is the best part is when he's just like he's kind of got like half his his suit on, and he's just like walking around like Tommy goes, "Ah!" <laughs> I was like. What about this when dude tells him to get the fuck up this off the ground? This motherfucker is out of his mind. They're trying to do the like. They're trying to do the judgment. He's just still laying there, like afterwards. His eyes like roll back in his head. And he's like, <coughs> ah! <laughs> I was like, holy shit! Yeah. You're really fucking insane. Oh shit! Um, but yeah, uh, Mook versus Lux. Uh, I thought Lux came out strong. For, uh, so when he walked out on stage, for some reason, he had what <coughs> appeared to be uh, the extras from uh, the 90s TV show Martin with him. And they all walked <laughs> on stage with him. Uh, they were all... I no, that, that was Living, uh, living Single. Living bro. Single. That was yeah. clearly uh, Bebe's kids. No, they, they were all... They were, I, I'm pretty sure it was the cast of Martin, which cartoons. is probably, if we're being honest, which is probably interchangeable with the cast of Living Single. And... Uh, I oh, commend you for that, Skyler. Uh, they were they were like high fashion, like couture, like really just styled folks, and they came out and they stood there for a second. They were like, "Oh, we're not supposed to be here." And then, okay, we'll go. And then they left. Uh, and then Lux started his first round, uh, and it was pretty cool. It was it was it was loaded. It was the loaded Lux that we've seen in the Hollow Battle, and uh, and it was a little of the loaded Lux that we've seen in the Calico Battle. You know what I mean? It was it wasn't like any like dynamic kind of new Lux. He wasn't outside of like he had maybe a little bit. Outside I s I know what babies kids look like. Yeah, no, I know. I mean we know what it is. No, they were not they weren't they weren't babies. There was nobody in a diaper. Nobody Yeah. Okay. So uh excluding the act the one outside of baby. Outside of that he brought like uh (laughs) the people with like a bunch of people on stage with him. Uh he didn't have any like kind of there was no, you know, panther theme or like everybody in mortuary or in, in yeah, funeral yeah. gear with the coffin and everything he didn't like come with any kind of like crazy luck were you expecting him to uh, kind of let yeah. me work please let me work something so uh uh but his first was on point and i think people were riding with him and then mook came in and it was just like oh shit mook's back he was just barring out on him fucking Pulled out, showed he had the do rag on. Yeah. Fucking everyone went fucking <laughs> hammer, all. Hammerstein and Hammerstein. Hammerstein and Stein. It was Both. fucking gangster. Uh, he was he was back to fucking young hot murder mook official out there. Which just is what we were talking about before. He did everything. Happened. Everything we said, we were like, oh, he he's gonna have to do this to win. He did exactly that shit. Yeah. Like, straight the fuck up. And I and honestly, like I doubted him for sure. But I just like I doubted him. From what I seen in the hollow battle, I didn't think there was any way that he was going to be able to go against the loaded Lux that I'd seen, you know, in two of the rounds against Calico and then in, in the well, yeah, most of the shit against hollow. But loaded, <clears throat> loaded didn't do anything particularly out of character or different. Uh, but what's up with this? The, uh, the crowd wasn't there for it. And people just act like his style is this. Sometimes he's got some old already obscure. Like, Setups that at, don't at really. At some points, you are rambling about nothing. Yeah, you're definitely. You've got a big mouth full things. of bullshit that the way, doesn't mean anything. The way. Uh, uh, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're good was, at the other shit, but sometimes you're saying fuck all. And Mook was making fun of him for it. He was like, Yeah, he was he like that systematically being controlled by the government shit and all this shit yeah, about yeah. the mother shit. Yep. He's like, Some fucking oh, other oh, shit. And all that He's other like, shit. You shut your fucking lips. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. like, Yes. And that's what you want to see them do well done to Lux. You know what I mean? You want to see like Murder Mook had a lot of moments like that, like the take your hands off your hips and like all oh, that shit. shit. Yeah, that was man. good. Man, that shit was so epic. Murder Mook was in the moment, at yeah. least. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like Yeah, he was getting it, man. And and like if you think about that, if we're talking about Murder Mook here, fucking back to back coffins against like people considered to be the greatest in battle rap. 
Like yeah. he straight coffined fucking Iron Solomon, and then you know three years well, later I, or I whatever. I think he coffined himself in that one. A well, little bit I don't. Also. I, they don't care. Fucking Buster Rhymes and fucking Diddy were in the booth like. Wah! You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. that's all anybody you remembers about Skittles that shit. On him, it, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Like they don't care about that shit. But he, you know, they weren't. I'll tell you what they do remember: Iron Solomon getting booed and never coming back, and then murder, and then yeah. loaded Lux, and then beating Lux, and loaded Lux is in his his second round at the end of it, and then his third round for sure. This fool is getting booed, and it's like it wasn't going anywhere. That's where he really starts getting yeah. like on his like exactly. super rambling shit. Yeah. Like what are you? What, and it's all kind of not going anywhere. He does the same scheme kind of. It's like da 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 da. I seen stuff, cream puff. I seen stuff, cream puff. <laughs> you want to see jelly bean, vagina team, vagina time. <laughs> I rhyme. <laughs> Spectacles in my testicles. Wrecking fools. <laughs> he on the clock, but he's stuck in the cock. Block walker. Glock stalker. <laughs> Like just like all the same kind of, and nobody's reacting either. So it's like really kind of awkward. And it's it's funny because like <laughs> he'll even get to like his like rhyming transition to the next yeah bunch of shit and realize that nobody reacted to the line, and he's just like <laughs> he just like stops and is like confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm already doing the next line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys should be going crazy right well, now. Well, he has like he usually has like a really polished performance, and he was like when you could tell when he's like throwing the n word in there, hella pissed off. That's like his disaster. Like yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like so he's just like, yeah. but well, you could tell when he's doing that. You're like, oh no, he's fucking. He's getting. He's getting frustrated. He's getting frustrated. Yeah, like that. It's it's affecting him, and he knows he's got to move. And fast. It's fucking hard to rap frustrated. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's fucking. Like, I gonna want to say what's on my mind, but yeah. I have to say shit that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not tight, man. It's so pissed off right now. And yeah, <laughs> when you're getting booed and shit, holy you shit! Just that that, like your mind is so fucking clouded. Like it's crazy because like so many of the greats have been booed. If you think about so like, much booing in general. 2014 <clears throat> is like the year of like the fuck the top tier like yeah <laughs> anybody that was top tier got fucked you can get you can get booed motherfucker uh okay are you ready like we're sitting pretty right <laughs> we're doing great stop my time stop my time <laughs> are you ready are you ready caustic what you kind of already got most of it out oh i didn't <clears throat> <laughs> no i didn't so uh hollow the dawn versus joe button god Fucking damn it. So many things to talk about. Really like battle. that? Why? Yeah. Uh, Hollow's first round was fucking awesome. It was everything uh, you hoped he would say. Uh, it was fucking delivered tight. And, and, and Was the first round like the fire marshal shit? And no, like, that was the second round. That was, that was the, the round. end of the second round. Yeah. And the second round was tight too, but the first round was the fucking... You know, when he was, like, uh, telling fucking Rosenberg to eat a dick. Yeah. It's like all the people, the, all the battlers in the house get two Gs and that's yeah, yeah. it. Like, fucking. Uh, no, I thought, I thought his first was tight. And I was like, I was like, and as, as soon as Button opened his mouth, I was like, this is, there's, there's no way. I was like, first of all, for as poor as First of doing, all, not even before he gets a chance to open his mouth. Let's talk about the mic He's issues <laughs> the, and how yeah. the fucking microphones for and you can tell you can tell Hollow's not comfortable with the mic situation, but he's like, "This is this is what it's gonna be." And I'm gonna make the best of it. Sometimes you gotta roll with shitty mics. So Hollow screams. Hollow fucking screams all the time. If you ever seen Hollow in a good yeah, battle, he yes. fucking screams. That's how he's. He, that's why when he was using the same fucking microphone that he would take off and give the button because button would be like, give me the one you have because I want to sound like you. And he fucking yeah. put it on and it fucking wouldn't. And he's like, hello, Mike. He's like, Alex, 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 Judy, give me a bagel. Fucking Tom in the back. Shine the soft light on me. Soft light on me. Make sure that you pull the car around. Like, how is that? Is that how you check a Alex, microphone? Alex, Alex. You sound like one of the fucking seagulls from Finding Nemo. Mike, 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 Mike. This fool is like, nope. He's like, fuck that. I'm going old school. I got to grip the mic and do this one. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he grabs a mic. He gets an actual stage mic. And then he's like, here I go again, making another bitch famous. Nah. Yeah, and and little, like, little face. Like, and everyone's yeah. like, oh, <laughs> He's yeah, people were like, him. people were like actually excited. It was hammer time for like the 
Snap, snap my dad. Dad. Uh, That's was, when he was feeling himself. It bro. was trash, dude. And, uh, you did not do good. His, and, r- his rhymes were so fucking and you could below see, like, subpar. <laughs> Ortiz and, and Crooked Eye in the back, and more Ortiz just being like, yeah, he's getting him. Get him. You know yeah, I mean? and it's like in a, in everybody here is, uh, has got to understand Stop. that shit is different live. Shit is so different live, you don't even fucking know. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've won many a battle uh, that went to the tape. And people was like, oh, shit, I lost that battle, but I was just fucking sweet in the moment. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and, and definitely Joe Budden was on his like, when everybody knows what happened with you and John, John. It's <laughs> <laughs> like... You got Joe Button became like Mr. Burns on stage. He's like, like, I it ain't was trying fuck. to spoil it, but you got in a fight with a dude named after a toy. <laughs> <laughs> what the that's fuck, so bro? That's the like, worst. How you gonna fight a dude named after a toy? <laughs> I don't do. He I like Joe, like Joe Button raps like how Dirt Nasty freestyles. <laughs> he does. He, 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 like Joe Button raps like Dirt Nasty's gay twin Simon. <laughs> or what is this? Steven. Steven. Not oh Simon, Steven. God. Oh my God. <laughs> Joe Button raps like Joe Steven. Joe Button. <laughs> he has so many bars that were like that. It's like, and people are going <laughs> nuts, dude. He's like, you know what I mean. My bar is clean. Jelly bean. <laughs> He's like, you hear that? It's multi-syllable. Fucking, uh, and then, like, so the mic shit, right? And then he's like, he do, goes to the hand mic, and, he, and he's, doing, he's doing good. The audience is eating his shit up. And, and just like I said, they're going to love him in the first round. He ain't going to say shit. Second round comes on. Hollow's fucking still doing his thing. That's the fire marshal round. And Hollow was good. It wasn't great, Hollow. But it was good hollow. And you're not good as good hollow. He was he was fucking yeah. Most I don't think ninety percent, ninety five percent of ninety nine percent of the battling world it can't be good hollow. You yeah. know what I mean? So Joe Budden rapping like a two year old, reading yeah. from a scroll though. <laughs> like he just he was not it was not gonna be able to do that. But uh when it came back no, to him, when we were he wanted watching to put it live, I was, like, I was like, "You can't do this for another two rounds." Exactly. Yeah. I was like, "I can tell." I was like, "It just, you're not." It's not going to work out. Yeah, it sounds like you're reading. Yeah, that yeah. Was yeah. Fucking yeah. Good. yeah, that was like, <laughs> Hollow. Hollow did the rebuttal with the yeah. both mics, and then fucking okay, Joe's like, "Okay, I need to get the lava mic." So he gets the fucking lavalier mic from Hollow and puts it on, and then he's like. Yo, yo, Alex, yo, check, check, check. My, my, my. He's like, Mike, I just rap like this. Mike? I just rap like this. He's like, nope, 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 nope. And that's the first time you see the quit in his eyes. Like, nope, nope, nope. And then like, give him the other mic. And he's like, not that mic, this mic. Not that mic, this mic. Not that mic, this mic. We sway for a while. And then he's like, just being a dick. I'm back dick. on the old man mic. <laughs> rapping my old man height. Uh, velour suits. <laughs> he's fucking, and, and. You started to see in that second round, you started to see the audience kind of fade away from him. They're like, oh, fuck. It's like, this is it. <laughs> I think in the third... <laughs> this is as good as it gets. I think in the third round when uh, when he got in his face, he said he told the one time that Hollow said, stop my time, he said, if you ever fucking hit a woman, I'll beat your fucking ass when he was doing that shit. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I think the audience kind of started to sway... More towards well, he, towards had, he had that minute where they started to boo Hollow, and yeah. then he turned it around. And then he turned it around, and I think yeah. that had a big effect on the audience too, as far as like who they were riding with after that round. Because then when it came back to fucking Mr. Joe Budden, it was just that was where it started to get all bad. Yeah. Because for yeah. whatever reason, after Hollow's third round, they completely checked out from the gate on Joe Budden. Yeah. Like they, the first bar he delivered, he was like. Oh, okay. Y- y'all ain't reacting. All right. And then just kinda, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He just kind of kept delivering. And then, Damn, dude. And then the boo started. That feeling. Boo! That feeling, though. Nothing you say is going to be good enough. Remember, at one, on he, at one point he even acknowledges it. He goes, Damn. I can, see, like, I can see how oh, hard it he's is. Like, y'all ain't even re- he's like, y'all ain't reacting to the hard shit. Oh, and he, and he just no, got he, done he saying, he like, some shit to hollow. He says some shit to hollow. Oh, he's, like, like, <laughs> he's like, now I see what you motherfuckers deal with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> something, yeah. something like that. And I was like, yeah, you do. Exactly. Just like I fucking thought. Because nobody comes to your show and boos you. 
in the third You're round. An like <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's no scenario where yeah. that happens to you. And in the third round, I was like, watch. He's going to run out of fucking steam. And, and the he's bars. He's going to look for a way out. And, and so the audience is, boo, boo, boo. And he's like, this motherfucker gives them an ultimatum. He says, if you keep booing. I'm going to quit rapping I'm going to quit forever. rapping. <laughs> yeah, is he talking about his I'm career? No, he just said he's going to quit what rapping. Skyler's night? like, forever? And I was like, I don't think so. I think it just means right now. But he's like, I'm going to quit rapping. He made it sound like he's like that he was going to quit rapping. If you yeah. And I just boo. expected everyone in the building to just go, <laughs> boo! Because that's, like, that's exactly what you do in that situation, no yeah. matter who you are. Yeah. Dude, if, you, if, like, if you stand up in school, you're like, I'm going to never come to school again if everybody cheers right like, now. like, get the yeah. fuck out of like, here. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> like, nobody could do that. You can't like be getting booed. Stop my time. Stop, Stop my time. time. <laughs> you're just setting yourself up. Like You look like such an asshole. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, like, other the, way to say it. You look like a dick. Who the fuck does that? Who the fuck says, if you're going to... Dude, if you're going to stop booing, you're booing me because I'm rapping. If you're going to keep booing me for rapping, then I'm not going <laughs> to rap anymore. That's the stupidest logic in the fucking world. You fucking idiot, Joe Budden. That's the kind of logic that you uh, use to come up with these bars. You and Royce the 9-9, who's like, I still think <laughs> Joe Budden. <laughs> Royce the 9-9. I still think, I still think Joe Budden got, got the first two rounds. I don't know. Oh, Get shut the, the fuck jump up. Jump off the balcony. You stupid ass. Your respect for, my respect for you just leaped off that balcony and fucking right over that Chilla Jones ba- banner and fucking <laughs> died in the arms of a bunch of kids below you're you. Gonna like, oh, you're going to like shit. fall off the balcony and your mouth is going to land on a dick the it's way, like, when you win. so bad so bad you're going to land that's the on, fate you deserve you're going to land on fucking daylight's mr hanky drawing and fucking, <laughs> that's what i gotta you're find gonna you eat bro. it for real why royce why we had so much respect to you i'm like dude he's like the best rapper fucking uh you know like i think everybody clearly <laughs> always the put, best rapper what you know like royce is always up there with when with like rap kids like he was always like a not like maybe like a guy who fucking made hella great albums or whatever, but Royce has always fucking smashed a fucking feature on a song. Was always like yeah, considered always, to be the best always rapper good for a feature. in Slaughterhouse. I always liked Crooked Eye more, but I think a lot of people chose th- would say that Royce was the fucking top I dog would in go that with crew. Crooked Eye. I totally would. I'm a West Coast kid though. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people would go go with Royce. I think he did so much of that great work with fucking Eminem. People had so much so high yeah, so the, much respect. The for Baby's Royce. Evil albums are tight. Come on. So much fucking respect for Royce. So much. And then, like, after the Slaughterhouse thing, I'm like, the fucking 9-9. Nine, nine, the you clearly picking your boy, even though he fucking quit in the middle of a battle. You can't win if you quit, bro. Like, Especially if no it's the crowd. Like, it's not even the rapper. Like, the crowd got to you. Like, That's like if, you yeah. get, if there's a fight and one of the dudes gets knocked out. And then, like, yeah, one of the judges know. gives it to the guy yeah. that got knocked out because he won the first two rounds. It's like, it doesn't fucking matter. He did you, break his hand. On his face, <laughs> like, so I mean, I it kind of makes I think it even. It looks like he did. It looks like he might have broke a finger, so I think that makes it. So even. who's got more damage at the end of the fight, really? <laughs> God damn, uh, man, that shit was. It was painful to watch that that him like even still carry that bias because well, even he, even swayed in the fucking the beginning and shit. Like he's like, give it up for Joe Buddy. Yeah, he's a pop platinum selling artist. He had to have been told to do that, man. Oh, yeah, man. for sure. That, it you just could, made it feel like a giant Joe Budden advertisement. Everything, the whole thing, just felt like slaughterhouse fucking advertisement. Like, and it was the same they're thing. The, they're the most in, one of the most influential. Groups in hip hop. Really? Like, what? Really? Really? The Beastie Boys and 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 fucking Wu Tang uh, and, and fucking, fucking hieroglyphics and fucking and slaughterhouse, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is that really? Is that really? I feel like we skipped a couple. Far side. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. Is there like? There's a bunch, but NWA. I mean, like, can we just, just pick Wu Tang like all ten? All the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For shit. sure. That's for sure. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But look, that's totally uh, what I listened to in my adulthood. At the end of the day, it was a bad look for Joe Budden. Just like the reality show, you just got to see how much of an asshole he is. Stop my time, Alex. And it was like Stop my time. Stop my time. I'm not rapping. Stop my time. What are you doing, dude? I'm not rapping. Stop my time. Who does that? He's like, he kept saying, he was like, he's like, you see, there's a difference between rappers like this. And then, like, you know, like, yeah. The other we in a different class. We in a yeah, I know. We are. 
you get booed off stage when you do this, <laughs> and we don't. Like, we, we will continue. You will get. You will quit. You will tell us that if we don't stop booing you, you're going to <laughs> stop doing the thing that we're booing you for. And guess what? We're going to do every time, Joe. A hundred percent of the time. You know what's the worst thing too? Money, is we're is he's boo. like, I'm about to drop a new single. It's like, <laughs> oh well. Of course you are. Why uh, would you not? Why would you not be? Like, does your Does your accent also change line to line in that song as well? <laughs> Have you figured out exactly where you're from yet? Yeah, fucking super forced delivery, man. Just it just ultra forced. It just didn't work for battle rap. And uh, once again, you know what we said over and over again. Caustic said it. As battle rappers, uh, uh, we we could attest to fucking. You can't just jump in the water with a fucking shark like Hollow. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like you better battle just well, like oh, it's first. a bigger beast than that because it's the crowd too. Like like you said, people booing you and shit yeah. and like. Yeah, and fucking you had them right. You had them in the palm of your hand. All you had to do was keep doing the dumb shit you were doing, and you would have won. Uh, he lost that your him. friends would have gave it because you removed the two fucking credible battle rap judges. Fucking Star and fucking Miss Gracie would have gave it to you in a heartbeat if you would have just kept doing the dumb shit you were doing. But then you went and did the Joe Budden thing. You did. You let them thugs do- doves go. Basically, you fucking you let, let your emotional ass go. fucking thug dove in heart. Uh, guide you through this battle, and you were like, "Oh, it's getting hard. I'm gonna quit right now. Let me find a way out of this shit." Yeah, you know what I mean? That's always well, then, that's always a good idea. You know, that's exactly what fucking cannabis did. That's exactly what fucking cannabis did. He did the same thing. He was like, "No, hold on, I got 30 r- pages of rhymes. You motherfuckers gonna let me rap?" And they were like, "No, we're not gonna let you rap. You suck." <laughs> like, fuck you. You had you. We let you rap. Already. And then you fucked up, and now you're trying to read from a book that's not rapping. You know, and then Joe Budden's like, okay, after all that shit, and he put down the mic and he booed, and they told, he said he wasn't going to rap. Then he tried to fucking do it again, and then they booed, and he's like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> all right. All right, you did better than cannabis, but still. <laughs> and then they leave not the much. stage. Everybody leaves the stage. Hollow's pissed. He leaves the stage. Everyone leaves the stage. And, and Sway comes back on. He's like, you know who won this battle, K Slay? And I was like, K Slay won the battle. <laughs> he's like, yeah. he's the only one left, bro. He had to win. Who else? Yeah, he was the only one on stage. He was on stage. on stage the whole time. He he's definitely like, took that. Sway is like, you know who won this battle, K Slay? And I'm like, give him whatever trophy there is. <laughs> that which K- is which is none. K Slay wins the, by not in, saying not, anything. Not existent trophy. Uh, total slaughter, man. I get so. Joe Budden apparently is saying they're going to do more of these things. Stop my time. Stop my time. Do you really think, I mean, do we, is Joe Budden the guy making that decision? Do you think they're going to give Joey another I'm, crack at this whole thing? I'm sure they will. He's already got the bullshit part out. If he was smart, he would come back and do it fucking for real. I don't know. I think that was him doing I welcome it for you. Real. I welcome you to come back, man. I, I challenge you to come back. Without the fucking arrogance, without the realistically, yeah. If you come back after that, bullshit, then like, like you're really trying to do it, you know? Yeah, and and people will respect you. You're not just gonna come out and think you're the fucking best the first time. Just like I said on the last show, you're not gonna win, even if they fucking even if the judges gave it to you for whatever fucking demand. Even if reason, the audience you're is not riding your dick for your shitty bars that would never fly if anybody else said them but you, uh, you're not or anyone win. like in your position, you still can't win because it's a fucking endurance run and you're going to find out how long three minutes are when you get in that ring and guess what you found out and like i said once it was went back and forth and back and forth and you've seen the difference between the guy who screams because he knows the fucking mics are fucked up and the guy who has everything fucking handed to him in the fucking you know hot fucking lemon tea and the fucking soft light beaming on his fucking high beard and fucking Alex in his back pocket ready to fucking come over <laughs> and fucking do whatever Alex! kind of jerking Alex, off. Mike, Alex. Mike, 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 <laughs> doing whatever kind of bullshit he wants to do. Does he, how do you not realize that makes you sound like a fucking asshole? You're in a competition <laughs> with somebody and you're like acting like you're in your fucking living room and you're asking a homie to bring you chips from the kitchen and shit. You're like, clearly. And if you, re- if you did that, your homie would fucking catch the fade. Clearly, this is your fucking. <laughs> your homie would sock you. For this that. is your fucking, like, uh, event. Like, clearly, yeah. like, this is all catered to you. And still, still, you could not take home that W. You could not do it. It was just not in your. In your future, man. It just wasn't yeah. going to happen. You couldn't go and battle the best. 
Yeah, and, and, and like Cossack said, I guess, I welcome you to come back and, and try again with someone who's, like, I guess, more on the level. But honestly, who the fuck is more on the level, Joe? That shit was bad. I think it when people... It's hard live, and people get clouded by the the judgment of the fans. And even, even Mad Child said some wild shit, like some crazy, like, elves in Mordor shit. But Mad Child was more battle or more, like, less... His style was more catered towards a battle than Joe Budden's was. Yeah. Joe Budden sounded like he was reading a song off of a piece of paper the whole time he was battling. Yeah. And I don't get how you see what we do. You see what the guy you're battling is doing. And Which then is you, way different than what you're doing. And you try and do the fucking you you try and do just some your own fucking thing. It's just like total slaughter seeing what we do and then saying, "Hey, instead of doing it like they do, we're just going to fucking throw hell of money at it and make it the grandest spectacle ever." And yeah. even though we have no reference for what that's going to turn out like and what the outcome is going to be and and we don't know if motherfuckers are going to get naked on stage and try to eat Mr. Hanky, or if motherfuckers are going to forget their bars, or if the legends of the game are going to get booed along with the guy who you set up the whole fucking event for to make popular. <laughs> you know, like you, you can't count on any of those things happening. This is battle rap. This is a fucking, you're trying to put a shark in a fucking cage. You know what I mean? Like every time. I said it over and over again. A million people love this shit all over the world. Millions of people love this shit. But millions of people love all sorts of shit that isn't cool to put on TV, like hood fights. Fucking world star hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Millions of people go to world star hip-hop every day to watch shit that you can't watch on TV. We are that. That's what we are, battle rap. Wake the fuck up. Open your eyes. Don't get mad about people punching each other left and right. Get mad at fucking motherfuckers throwing a shitload of money at a problem. Not to the people who are battling, mind you. No. no. Get your money. Alex, I'm saying don't get your money. I'm, no, I'm saying they're not getting paid. Arsenal's getting a couple of G's. Alex is making a lot more money than Alex, Arsenal Alex. is. Alex. You know Mike, what I'm Mike, saying? Mike, Mike, fucking Mike. Uh, uh, motherfuckers <laughs> who you know aren't involved in it at all are just attached to it by namesake are making way more money than any person who's battling. And in fact, there's no fucking prize. Ho, ho, ho. You had a tournament and there was no prize. All Nobody of those got, battle, basically all those battle rappers trophy. were just a paycheck for Joe Budden because he got paid Holy shit. Way and good. then he said it. I get paid 200 G's. You got paid 30 G's. Shut the fuck up. Our, first of all, Hollow the Dawn. 30 yeah, fucking good, good G's. Job. Definitely. 30 G's. Good shit. Woo. That's a fuck. That's like the second time that fool's got paid, like you know, in that twenty to yeah. thirty thousand dollar range to battle. Yeah, you're the fucking man, Hollow. Good you're shit. You're the fucking man. <laughs> and and Joe Budden, who fucking cares? You make money to cry on TV. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> probably got paid hundred thousand dollars to cry on TV. Two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars to yeah. fucking get punked out by your lady and have her fucking. Take another rapper's seeds in her fucking mouth and shit, and then people rap about it to you uh, on stage. Like you pay, you've been paid to do a lot of shit that I wouldn't fucking do for any fucking amount of money. So you know what I mean? Like word. there's no, <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like I'm not sweating it when you say you made 200k to rap like this <laughs> and fucking Hollow got 30 <laughs> to times. rap like the bad Hollow. guy from Kung Pao. And you know, <laughs> and, and nothing's gonna change. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're not gonna be safer for TV. If anything, they're gonna be like, let's put a little money into less money into this thing next time because. Clearly, that shit was a spectacle. And then, not, and then fuck, it trickles man. down to us. By the time they're going through people and trying to get new people, then we're the ones who get screwed out of the money because you guys were so shitty the first time. At the end of the day... <laughs> uh, fuck. It's fucked up, dude. I, I, don't I, do that. I pray that Total Slaughter becomes a regular thing, but I don't take Joe Budden's word for it being like a multi-event-a-year you know, event a year kind of scenario where, you know, this... You gonna it film a show and have it lead up every time? Bro, it didn't that? look that. It looked pretty bad in parts. You know what I mean? UW. I thought the show was pretty cool, man. You, I thought the show was way cool. I thought the show uh, had fucking a lot of potential. Yeah, a lot of potential. It had a lot of great moments too. Straight up, the way they would end the show with people rapping, I thought that was the fucking shit. Yeah. Uh, it, it really showcased a lot of the good parts of battling, except for the fact that half of the battles ended with choking. Uh, there was some really good elements to it. And, and the, I mean, 
there was just like when you do things where you have a competition and the judging is fucking goofy as fuck. You're getting nine nines and ten tens. And then, you know, the the whole setup seems like it's fucking a, a softball to Joe Budden and shit. Like it you lose respect of the core fans, you know what I mean? Because we feel like you're fucking you know, you're cheating it, right? You're taking away the fucking what makes battling great, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of the elements of fucking why people watch this shit on YouTube and why it's become such a big thing are kind of pulled from the picture in in the scenario that they've set it up. Not on the show, per se, uh, as far as, like... Because, you know, when we talked to Daylight, they said they had... Or disaster, they had a month before the show to write or whatever, you know what I mean? And then some dude's like, disaster could freestyle better or not. But in that when you put it in that arena and you put it on that stage and you pull the cameras way back and you fucking, you know, bring the big fucking lights out and you have Royce the 5'9 and Ebro for no reason commentating on shit and Sway talking in, in between rounds, like clearly indicating who he f- is favoring in the battle and, <laughs> you know, K Slay standing there for no reason and all these things are just happening. It's really hard to fucking... It's just there because they're fucking famous somehow. It's, you, we, we've been removed from what battling is. That's yeah, kind of what took, I felt You took like. away everything that makes it tight, man. Like, <laughs> so, if, so if they do it again and if, if they decide to fucking... That that the, if the numbers were there, and that's really what it all comes down to, I think. Like if the numbers were there, even no matter how bad it was, holy shit, how many scary movies are there? You know what I mean? Like talk talk about like fucking. There's like seven Chucky movies and shit. You know what I mean? Like it. If <laughs> there's bad, eight Hellraiser movies, if it makes money, people are gonna go, they're gonna remake that shit, and it's gonna happen again. You know yeah. what I mean? So if Total Slaughter filled that ballroom and the pay per view numbers were good. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. They'll they'll do it again, and I hope they get yeah, good. Cassidy and Arsenal or fucking Meek Mill, and I hope <laughs> uh, they fucking you know pay maybe like Arsenal and fucking you know you know a disaster or daylight or someone who went all the way through it a T Rex someone you know pay give them, them some money give, give them, them some give fucking them, money give them give them some money to be coaches and let them really like pick teams and have and like really explain the format and yeah, for and the love of fucking. God, have a fucking prize at the end, bro. Seriously. Any, I mean, how much fucking money did you spend on lights? Well, they paid Joe Budden two hundred thousand. So fuck. Even so if, if there was no Joe like, Budden and it was just even Loaded if it Lux was versus like, Murder Mook, and you had no fucking Joe Budden at all, and it was just Loaded Lux versus Murder Mook, because we didn't need Joe Budden, and we didn't have that at all. And you took that hundred thousand dollars and you made that a cash prize, and then you took another hundred thousand dollars and you fucking you know put it into like battle of the fucking you know fifty k for best battle of the event and fifty k for best performance or some shit like that. You're gonna get some motherfucking star. Some stars are gonna shine. Yeah, That's life changing yeah. money. I know that if I had an opportunity like that and I had a month to write, I would fucking quit. Anything I would, I would lock be the myself greatest in the studio. I've ever been. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. I would, and everyone would come at it with that. But like literally, these fools got paid a couple racks, and there was no prize at the end. What the fuck did you expect? People, those, everyone in that house at a time had made paid more to battle than they got paid to do total slaughter, and that's fucking terrible. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just if it's the biggest, if you are truly the biggest battle event, then you should be paying. Uh, on a scale that fucking, you know, reflects that. You know what I mean? And that's all I got to say about Total Slaughter, you bitch. Uh, I hope this episode was as unfulfilling to you as Total Slaughter was to us. Uh, we're gonna, we have to take a couple weeks off, uh, but we'll be back sooner than later. So eat a dick and complain about it on Twitter. Yeah. At Dirtbag Dan Show, you bitch. Something cool.